This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you a couple different ways to change the data type when copying data from a SQL table to an Excel file. This is the data that we'll be using as our source data. It's in a table. And here you can see the definitions of the columns, and they're all Vercare data type. And that's a non-Unicode data type. And we're going to be writing the data into an Excel file. And uh, so it needs to be Unicode data type. So we want to convert the data types from Vercare to nvercare. So what I'm going to do is create a select statement and copy it to the clipboard and then I'll just paste it here. The syntax is we'll typed cast and then parentheses and then equals and bear care. We'll keep the length the same and then as um, and we'll keep the column name the same. And then we need to do that for each of these columns. So I've actually already done it to a statement over here. And we're going to copy this statement to use over in our SSIS package. So I'll go over to Visual Studio. And I'll start by dragging the Dataflow task onto the canvas. I'll double click on that to go to the Dataflow canvas. and. We'll start with the um, OLADB source. We'll be using this to get Wooddale Gaming Data. We'll double click on that. To open the editor, we need to set up a connection manager. And this is the correct server. And then for the data access mode, we're going to use a SQL command. And we paste in that select statement and we'll preview the data. And here's the data we were just looking at in Management Studio. All right, we'll close that. And now we'll go down and get the Excel destination. And we'll use this to write wood down gaming data to Excel file. And we'll connect the source to the destination. Double click on it to open the editor. And we need to set up a connection manager for Excel. So we browse to where my Excel file is. And this is an empty Excel file. It only has the column names in it. So I'll double click on that. And we'll click OK. And then we need to choose the name of the sheet, which is wood underscore dale. And I believe choosing either of these will work. I'm going to choose the one that ends with a dollar sign. And here we'll view the existing data. You can see it is empty and just has the column names. And then we click on mappings. And uh, all the columns are mapped. Click OK. And I'll save the package and we'll execute the package. All right, it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And we'll go over and take a look at that Excel file. And there you can see all 16 of the rows were copied into the file. Stay tuned to see how I use the data conversion transformation to change the data type. As a reminder, here's what our source data looks like. It's all non-Unicode, so it's all defined as Vercare. And we need to convert that to Invercare. 
uh, we're writing it to an Excel file. And so it needs to be Unicode to be written to this file. So we'll go to Visual Studio, and this is the package um, that we used for the first part of this demo using cast. Now I'm gonna just delete the source component and start with a fresh one. So I drag the OLEDB source onto the canvas. I'll double click to open the editor, and this time we're using just table or view. And it's called the table's called Gamer Info. Preview the data. And there's the data we just looked at in Management Studio. And we'll close that. So now we'll go find the data conversion transformation up here. Drag that onto the canvas. And we'll connect the arrow from the source. Double click on data conversion. And if I click on name here, it automatically selects all of the columns, which we do want all of the columns. And so it automatically created an output alias column name that put copy of in front of the names of all of the columns here, which is fine. And it defaults to the data type that is being fed in. So we need to change that to DT underscore WSTR. And I'll do that for all the columns and be right back. We could make up our own column names, but I'll just leave them as they are. It's fine for our purposes. And now we'll connect the data conversion transformation to the Excel destination. Now we need to go into our mappings. And <clears throat> this is still trying to map the um, non-Unicode columns to the Unicode columns. So we need to change it to use copy of for each of the columns. All right, so now we have all of the copy of columns mapped to the uh, Excel columns. So it's all Unicode to Unicode. So I'll save the package and execute it. And it was successful. I'll stop debugging and we'll go take a look at that Excel file. There you see all of the columns were copied over for all of the rows. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.